Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the elusive Palmetto State Armory Dagger. Very difficult to find. Even at the Palmetto site, they're all sold out. So the other online companies are raising that price. They're jacking it up. Like I, I see this right now all over Gunbroker 450. Prior to that, a couple months ago, I tried to get one. 525, 550. It's got an MSRP of three or 299, 300 bucks, and they are really price gouging. I would say be patient the way I was. Now, I picked this up locally, used maybe 50 rounds through it. That's what Zach, the previous owner, says. Shout out to him. He hooked me up 300 bucks. He added a Glock mag, which is one of the main features that. I and many people love Glock makes phenomenal mags. Now, it, it comes with a P mag made for the Glock 19. It does not have sight holes in there. A little wider base plate, but it feels cheap. Unlike their rifle mags, like Magpul makes phenomenal rifle mags. I'm not sold on this, primarily because it just feels cheap. I feel these side by side, and you can just tell that the Glock mag is superior. But that's what it comes with. And then Zach hooked me up with a skull head holster. And holsters are hard to find as well. So if the gun's hard to find, holsters are hard to find because a lot of these holster makers aren't, aren't getting orders at this time because people can't get the dagger. So uh, hopefully that will lighten the load shortly as these become available. But if you go with this, you'll get this cardboard box. Nice little logo right there. A foam cutout has stickers and paperwork up top there. And one thing that I think is pretty cool is Ameriglow serrated black rear sights. All right, and the clock and everything else. Once again, MSRP 299. Probably the most attractive feature with the gun is the price. You know, it puts it right around that Taurus price range that so many people love. But let's check it out. It does have a nice grip. One thing I do not care for is that bump right there. I'm not a fan of finger grooves. I don't mind them sometimes, but this hits right in the meaty fat part of my finger. Now they do have an undercut in the trigger guard, but if they only did it the way SIG did it with the X Compact. See, they just indented it. They didn't put an additional ledge on there or bump, and this feels phenomenal. So you may have to shave that down. I think I will just to give it more of a straight grip. And I'll, I'll go ahead and, it, it does have an indentation. But another thing I don't care for too much is the mag release. It is really stiff. Look at, I'm pushing on it right now. You gotta, you gotta put a lot of pressure on it. So if you have arthritis in your thumb or your hand or something, it may be a little bit of an issue for you. I will tell you that is stiff. Maybe it'll loosen up over time. Three dot all steel sights. Now you say that's serrated black. Well. The previous owner sharpied it, all right? Put some uh, permanent marker on there, so it's serrated black. I'm fine with that. I like serrated black. And a large front dot. 3.9 inch barrel, uh, DLC coated barrel, and a nitride, black nitride finish slide. Does have forward serrations right there. And an accessory rail. Unique trigger guard, little ledge right there. A lot of people put, it's not serrated at all, but they, they put their, their weak side uh, offhand finger right up there. I don't do that, but I know a lot of people do. All right. And one more thing about the magazine release, it's small. Compared to the Glock 19, it's real small. Like that's like a button and that's, I would call that a tab. But let's check out that trigger. It is a hinge trigger, so they stepped away from that. It is very similar. If you love the M&P 9 hinge trigger, it's very similar. I'm measuring it right at 6 pounds. Nice solid break and an audible reset. Right at 6 pounds. Their website says 5.5. I'm calling it 6. A little flare right here as well for those quick mag changes. 3.9 inch barrel. So if we look at the 4 inch barrel on the Glock 19, we'll see that it goes just a little bit longer. Not enough to notice. And then they call these carry cuts. Pretty sure that's what that is. That Right there. That's a carry cut. So they, they bevel that in a little bit for easy insertion and 
drawing out of a holster. All right. So if you see it, it says it comes with carry cuts. That's why. That is stiff, I'm telling you. Take down, same as the Glock. I do like that they use a all steel guide rod opposed to the polymer guide rod in the Glock 19. And there's your 3.9 inch barrel. Okay, compact size. And they're already coming out with optic ready models and they're coming out with threaded barrels and suppressor height sights and so forth. So, uh, there's a lot to look forward to with the dagger. I, I actually see this going down the same road as Canik. You know, when Canik came out, it came out with a $300 gun. Then the next thing you know, it was 400, four and a quarter, 450, 500, 550, and it just kept going up. Now, yes, they increased many of the features. I think that's what we could see with the dagger because people like it. And then once they get familiar with it and they say, you know what, I want to upgrade it it comes at a cost so right now 299 you can't beat it uh one pound seven and three quarters ounces we move that to just ounces 23 and three quarters here are 15 rounds 30 ounces even there's your carry round 30 and three eighths now i did this earlier and i will tell you that 30 and three same same weight so if you're familiar with carrying this with 16 rounds the Glock 19 then you'll be familiar with the dagger at least weight wise and they will not share the same holsters so if you think you you know you got a Glock 19 holster it'll work with the dagger chances are it won't you'll have to get its own specific holster but there it is PSA dagger elusive hard to find overpriced by the stores not the company Palmel State Armory. It's a bit pricey right now. Be patient. Wait a little bit. Be smart. See if you can get this. I got a great deal on this. Barely used. Appreciate that. We, we hung out and talked a little bit. Super nice guy. Met so many nice people with gun deals in, in the Michigan area. But appreciate it, Zach. Thanks. And I look forward to getting this to the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.